Hi everybody, welcome back to Sid's Modern Life, Season 2, Episode 76, with me Sid. Well, where I am just hovering around, just picking the stuff up. Uh, oh, there's still the odd mob coming through here as well. Um, that is because we've got, I ran the um, nocturnal powder spawner down there, and it's a block, so we, I definitely need to rework that area. However, um, we did have a suggestion uh, from... Nope, it's gone now already. Uh, but I had a suggestion to stick in uh, diamond spikes, which I found if I put them there at the too high level, basically everything dies. And they go into here where there's lots of experience being stored. Um, oh, not, not lots. I mean, you know, it's not even registering on the chart yet, but eventually it will and uh yeah so that works as a solution um and the reason i'm here is because i wanted to get some experience to enchant my space armor before we go back to the moon or otherwise known as the moon if you wish to call it the moon but to you you know it's the moon uh and let me just sleep off and then we'll go and head over to uh the alexandria and get some books together to enchant um, right, here we go. this stuff here <laughs> uh, we'll get there eventually uh, we probably want to make some more fish and chips as well have we got any fish and chips I've got 10 uh, can I make another 64 no I can't because I do not have enough of anything to make 64 I could make in fact none cooked fish and chips oh well we've got 58 fish and chips is more than enough for what we want right now um yeah so obviously when we are out on the surface of the moon we need something a little bit more um things everybody like this solution by the way um we've got a few comments saying yeah that works so yeah, adds, uh, I think it adds a a distinctiveness, maybe. Um, however, protection five plate. Uh, now, each one of these will make three books, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to make a couple more. I'm going to do one with blast protection as well. Um, and the, the reason for that will be, obviously, apparent. Um now this this particular process is definitely op and the comments has been made about cyclic be very op and uh i would agree i think cyclic is an op mod however this particular thing isn't cyclic that is bibliocraft now yes bibliocraft itself um is allowing me to get around that with his protection five plate and that is a cyclic powered diamond anvil which will repair it but i think this would work if this repairs because nothing repair all the things we tried to repair in there didn't work so uh, my my gut feeling is that that is um just you know one of them things that we think now I'd like a a blast protection and I'll, I'll take black protection blast protection for reason for being for that is um I think is the second planet is an evolved creeper boss um so let me let me jump jump in here and grab all of those and if I pop you in with that oh Jesus Christ that's expensive <laughs> I know, well, it's not expensive, but do I really need to do Protection 5 on there? Will I get away with Protection 2? Or do, I mean, there's nothing to stop me, actually. I suppose we could go, yeah, let's just have a look. Put those away for now. Let me just have a look at what happened. Uh, what happens if we... Oh, doesn't allow me to enchant it. Okay. That's poo, isn't it? 
Uh, what other cho choices have we got? Because there are multiple ways to create enchantments. Of course, there's an enchantment sorter, extractor, applicator, uh, and an enchantment factory. I'm going to guess that's a mana enchanter. That's, um, that's that again, another OP way of enchanting stuff. There are plenty of ways to enchant things. It's just a matter of whether... Do I really want to go to the lengths of putting massive great enchantments on that, or would I be better off coming in with a, uh, say, Protection 4 on a couple of them? A... I did pick up a Blast Protection. Did I pick... I did pick up Blast Protection, didn't I? Did I just put that in here? Yes. Um, and given that one of them's a Skeleton Boss... Maybe projectile protection wouldn't be a bad move either if I've got that. That would give me like some bits. And then we could go with maybe unbreaking. Mm, unbreaking and mending shouldn't be an issue. They don't really have durability as such. But unbreaking might be worthwhile. Oh. I'm thinking something might be good for the moon. Uh, now, do I want multi-jump... Have I died? I'm sure I had a multi-jump 5 down there. And there are multi-jump 3s. Okay. Grab me a book. Give me... Uh, mine. Right, let's start off with this. Let's get some boots, and we're going to give them... Oh, they can have the projectile protection. No? That's intriguing, and yet you would take that one. Wow, that's different. Alright, fine. We'll work on that basis. Um, I don't know whether we're going to get away with an unbreaking then on that either, are we? See, use, it does... Oh, you can do protections. It reckons that it will give you those protections. Maybe it has to be discharged. Let's just try something here before I go wasting any more juice. So if I discharge a thing, well, that's going to be awkward. How am I going to discharge it? I know there's a discharge feature in that tool in the uh, thingy. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So if I go and discharge that, but that's, that's going to, oh, <sighs> I don't know, um, I mean I could do protection 5 on them all, that is not an issue, it just seems potentially a little bit overkill, but then is it, I don't know. Let's have a look, see what we can do, shall we? I've got plenty of experience. Well, thought I had. So, if we take you and put a... We can't put any of those... Those on it. That's... Not going to do anything. All right, I need to have a little play, see what options we have. There must be a way to apply these if it thinks you can do them. Um, let me head over and see what options we've got, and I'll be back in a sec. All right, we've tried several options. None of them are playing, so... See ya. 
Um, we are reduced to the... Let me get rid of you. We can't put that on, unfortunately. If we could figure out what, how to, a way to discharge these then, other than obviously breaking them, um, we would be sorted, but we're not. So we're going to go with what we've got, which is going to be lots of protection. One of those goes in there. Four, four. Oh, that was projectile protection. That does not go there. That goes there. And we should have at least, let's have a look, we've got two more of those. We need another one of those with another book. I don't know whether we'll have enough experience, but, you know, we'll see. It'll be the, certainly the best protective spacesuit ever. <laughs> that goes without saying. Do -do -do. So, yeah. Um... This is good old how OP can we make something, I suppose. And uh, obviously, we're not we're not applying it to everything, so that in itself is a good thing. Um, we're just you know applying it to our spacesuit, which will have that one, and then we need more of this, which I think. That will get us the third piece done. And the last piece is going to be the problematic one. Bye. Um, I don't need to worry about them. I just don't want the hassle of dealing with them. Um, because over here I have a whole mode more levels of experience. Which is always nice. Doo -doo -doo. All neatly stored in my take them all almost thirty six levels. <laughs> That's pretty much it, and then we're was out. But the objective here is now to be able to head back to the moon and get some uh, moon rocks and also maybe try and find the moon dungeon hello that didn't go so well did it um, and with a bit of luck having an enchanted spacesuit will help me there I don't think we need to, these are barely touched in terms of their power usage so yeah that's fine right i am going to just sort myself out a little bit and uh we'll head back to the moon and uh, i will see you there all right we're here um i just noticed that one of my tanks is a little bit low so we'll sort that out now while we can um that really does not like being enchanted, does it? Doesn't matter. We'll send that one back. That will get refilled and everything's good. Um, hmm. F5 does not appear to be working. Oh, God, yeah. That's disco... I don't think that was really meant to ever be enchanted, do you? Okay, it's uh, definitely night time up here. Uh, I'm not sure how long the moon daylight cycle lasts, but um, there's certainly plenty of these fellas running around down there. Uh, let's have a look, see just not too tough which is always a bonus spidey dead okay fairly fairly easy going mm. Mm. 
Oh, he had no helmet on. That's why he was uh, twitching. Right, well, no point hanging around here. We, we need to pick a direction and decide to go and search. So I am going to head north. And I wonder whether this will work. Seems weird having no no real sound effects. Now somewhere there should be a dungeon. Uh, so usually, well, not usually, it is always a big hole in the ground. Uh, and that is what we're looking for. Now, it's not a help to my fact that there's craters everywhere. But, that's fine. It's also not helped by the fact we're travelling so damn fast. And there's an awful lot of um, endermen about. Let me just have a quick... Hmm, intriguing. But still, not finding a lot. Okay, I am going to continue hunting around for this um, dungeon entrance, and I'll be back just as soon as we've got something. Back in a moment. Alright, back on Earth. I need to mend my elytra. Um, I've done oh, quite a bit of exploring. I have found nothing. <laughs> Not a bean. Uh, I also probably need to make more rockets if I can, or at least take what we've got. Have I not? Hmm, intriguing. I would have thought that I'd have uh, had more rockets than that, but there you go. Um, yeah. I honestly do would not like to try that particular task um, without the elytra and you know rockets. It is it would be quite frankly it'd be horrendous. Um, I mean I have covered. I don't know whether we can. Let me just see. Can I change my dimension? Uh, Change to daytime. Do you, can I uh, save to the uh, about? No, I don't know whether we can get the different dimensions there. Um, but yeah, we'll um, we will definitely right. Did did that actually? I'm also going to have to unenchant that because that is going to drive me nuts otherwise. Um, but yeah, we just need to repair these, so uh, I'll be back with you once this is repaired, and then and probably disenchant these as I said, a waste of experience. But what can you do? Um, yeah, back in a bit. All right, it has to be said, this is getting a little bit old now. <laughs> I've been flying around the moon for what seems like days uh, I know it's only like maybe an hour or so or maybe two hours at the outside but I am not finding these bloody moon dungeons anywhere I mean seriously they they're supposed to be a really deep crater that goes straight down and into a dungeon and I've found Nothing that even comes close to that description. Nothing at all. Lots of caves. But not what I'm looking for. And I've nearly gone through probably over 50% of my elytra already. 
again I might as well grab that moon rock because about that's about all I'm I'm getting out of this one. Oh come here gimme. Did I get it? I did. Um You know it's it is very RNG dependent, I think. Um, I mean, there is literally nothing. Not a bean. A few points of experience from when I killed those mobs earlier. They haven't despawned, strangely enough. But, yeah, um, we need... Let me just go and do my uh, oxygen tank for starters. Because that is a thing that needs sorting. Uh, and then we'll pop that one back in and we'll sort that. Don't like having two nearly empty oxygen tanks. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Um, so we have, let's have a look. I mean, we've covered huge areas. And it's, it's just got to be RNG. It really has. You know, you'd think these are, but apparently the, the crater itself is a crater, is a hole within a crater. So it's not just a cave. It is a very specific shape. And I made sure I'm being pretty careful that I've not overlooked anything. But I don't think I have gone past anything. See that? Would have been an obvious, but that was just a cave. Hmm. Cave. Cave. Yeah, it's it's demoralising because it, it is. I can't. Yeah, I'm just trying to think about what it would be like trying to do this without flight and rockets and elytra. This would be unpleasant to say the least what is my what are my elytra like not brilliant um i brought i brought a repair kit with me um just for these purposes of course and yeah um well i'm going to keep on looking i'm not going to give up if after the next hour or so I don't find anything I will contemplate and I, I'm, I hate to do this but there is a dungeon finder which is a creative item but I don't enjoy just flying around blindly hoping that we're going to you know find what we're looking for and and just keeping on going this is you know is this element of this mod is not actually not fun um and whilst i don't expect it to be easy i do expect it to be enjoyable <laughs> and yeah i just you know call me old-fashioned but if i'm playing a game i'm playing it to enjoy it not to fight my way through RNG um, which really doesn't add anything not not with this level of rarity anyway you know I think if it was less for me by now I would have expected to find at least one given the amount of distance we've traveled um, and all the other you know criteria that you might throw into that um, and especially with dark like this i mean we really should be racking them up left right and center they shouldn't be this rare um but there we go rant over um i still love the mod i just think that it needs this dungeon thing it needs rethinking a little bit because this is bloody ludicrous or at least make the dungeon finder a non-creative item. Make it something you can make. You know, um, call me uh, crazy, but you know, having 
a reasonably expensive meteor, maybe even moon meteor or iron and stuff to make it a, a thing you can make. I mean, that doesn't sound unreasonable. I don't, well, I don't think it does anyway. Let me just get some height and then continue. So I'm going to keep on looking around um, and I will return the very moment I find one because I will be a very happy, happy, happy Sid. Um, but until then, see you in a moment. All right, well, we're back at the uh, the base camp. Um, none the wiser for where we might locate these dungeons. Um, now, we have got the spawner locator, but that only works within 64 blocks. And I've traveled thousands of blocks and not one of these areas has yielded the entrance to a dungeon. Um, I've googled, um, just says look, search, they're, they're very rare and they're not joking. Um, they are so rare as to be actually unfun. Uh, <laughs> I don't know whether unfun is a word, but it is now. Uh, God, that guy's loud. Um, so I am in two minds as to what to do here. Now, we could go for and bring in the, the dungeon locator. It's a creative item only um, from Galacticraft Go, and yeah, that would obviously be, by all accounts, cheating. <laughs> but I really don't know what else to do. Um, I mean, I can fly around here all day, every day. I've spent ages going and checking, and they, it's just not, I mean, you know, you kind of go, oh, that. That looks suspiciously, you know, it's just a cave. There's, there's nothing there. It, it does need to be a cave in a crater. It's it's that specific, and I cannot find one. I don't know what else to do. Um, what I will do, however, is probably have a break from the moon for a while, um, and we'll go and have a look at something else temporarily. Uh, but I think it will be fair to say that I am somewhat disappointed with with the entire procedure there. Um, it just strikes me as very, very random. <sighs> to the point where, as I say, it's actually not enjoyable to play that bit. Uh... Yeah, I don't want to sound whingy here, and I know it's going to, whatever I do is going to sound whingy, so, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about that, other than that is just, just the way I feel about this entire thing, it's, it's unpleasantly grindy, um, and I can only, I honestly can't imagine what it must be like trying to play that in, uh, Without elytra, without any form of flight, it must be horrendous. Um, I don't know why game designers sometimes lose track of the fact that they're, they, you know, ultimately the first, first and foremost thing that they need to be doing is making their game fun. <laughs> There's nothing, not much to ask for. Make it fun. Make it challenging by all means. Make it. A ch uh, problematic make it so it can be difficult but make it fun beyond all else make it fun because without that there's no point in playing it and with the best will in the world that wasn't and isn't I, I, I don't really want to have to fly around thousands of thousands of blocks of the moon just to try and find a dungeon that they should be they well I mean let's look at it from a point of let's look at it from the point of view of 
of vanilla. If this were a vanilla mod, well, if this were vanilla, I can find them. I've got Eyes of Ender. I could find the items with that. It might be painful, and I may have a little bit of faffing around to do, but I could actually find it. And... You know, if we had Moon Eyes of Ender, just, or even if Eyes of Ender just worked on the moon, that would be a solution. Um, I wanted to have a look. What's my diesel situation like? We've got, yeah, we've got 4,000 buckets, and we've got quite a few buckets of oil. Um... I think we'll take the oil back to uh, diesel generator uh, to this over here for now. Bonk. Thank you. Because you've got... Uh, we'll need that. We'll not need that for a while. So, yeah. Let me know what you think. Um, if you're happy enough, if you're happy and you know it, shake your hands. Uh, clap your hands even. That might be uh, even better. Um... But in realistic terms, we if we are going to find those dungeons, it needs to be done in a semi-sensible fashion. Uh, right now, I don't think that is fashion-sensible at all. Now, I have got other things I want to do. There's still apiaries. There's still the Olympi Mount Olympus needs to be worked on more. Um, so this, uh, I need to get these things and, and all of this lot growing in my cloches at some point. Um... And there's also the, I think my particular situation for iron isn't overly brilliant either. Um, just have a look. I mean, it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. And we, we I mean, for example, we could take these things, which are, oh, I'm probably getting these from... I know actually I don't know what I'm getting in from to be honest. Um no, I'm not entirely sure. But we could put those into our automated wherever you are, here you go. You are uncrafting some of those at the moment. Okay, we can add that, we can add that, and we can add one of those. So that'll take care of that particular issue, um, or a little bit. But of course, we do have the the big scoopy bucket thing to do. So yeah, that's an option. Uh, there's loads of things we can be doing, and lots of things. Yeah, we, we haven't even touched, uh, started scratching some of the mods. Um, let me just check how long I'm in recording for, because I realise I'm ranting, and we'll be back in a sec. Yeah, thought so. Well, that's me, a disappointed, disappointed individual. <laughs> um, so on that note, I think we will call it an episode. And uh, we need to think, I've got some ideas. I'd like to do something with a um, with an XP farm as well. But yeah, it's which one to go with. Um, but on that note, yeah, until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.